What's up, YouTube? This is Isaac coming at you after quite some time from my frosty apartment here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where there's snow on the ground and the heat is out. So I'm wearing a down jacket to keep warm from the cold. And if that ain't the blues, I don't know what is. Anyway, the point of this video is uh, just to make a quick review of the Suzuki Heartmaster Diatonic Harmonica, which is the favorite harp of my buddy Cotton right here. Uh, he, he insists on being part of this video, so uh, it is what it is. The point is that uh, I am mainly a honer harmonica player. I have some Zytles that I've been happy with. Uh, I have tried Lee Oscar. I've tried Wong. Uh, I got some Bushman harmonicas. Um, but I've never really been totally satisfied with uh, short slot harmonicas, which all those latter are. So I've usually played Zytles or, or honers as my main go-to harp. Um, but recently there was a huge closeout deal on Amazon where uh, a company was liquidating a bunch of uh, Suzuki harmonicas and I was able to get this Heartmaster for the low price of $10 including shipping and I figured at that price I could take a chance and see um, if my opinions could be swayed by Suzuki. And the short review is they definitely have been swayed. This is a fantastic harmonica. Uh, and I wouldn't hesitate to buy it at full price, okay? So that's the short review now for a slightly longer review. Uh, just to say it came in a standard plastic box. It came with probably the most useless instructions that say things like not to swing your harmonica around so that you don't hurt yourself or your friends. Uh, and a couple other things like uh, with minimal practice, you'll be able to, to do the bending technique and some other stuff. And just minimal practice is all it will take. Uh, so you can go ahead and throw away that uh, that little piece of uh, instructional material. You don't have to keep the box. I don't keep my harps in the box either. Uh, but the point is, this is what you're paying for, and this is the thing that's really quite impressive. So why am I so impressed? Well, first off, my litmus test for if a harmonica is made well is if I can play up and down the harp with as minimal a breath pressure as possible and have the harp respond evenly and actually fairly responsively so that you can hear a note and you don't hear um, a whistling of air uh, as the reed refuses to respond to minimal breath pressure. So let me just do that for you now. So that is literally the lowest amount that I can blow. And you hear that every single reed responded, both draw and blow. And that's something that I find is extraordinarily rare in an out-of-the-box harmonic. And I should say that I have not even taken the cover plates off of this thing. I have not touched a screw. I've not messed with it in any way. It's 100% stock right out of the box. I've only had it for a day or two. And I haven't very, played it very much either. So right off the bat, that impressed uh, impressed me because typically even with the best handmade honers and sidles I still have to go in and adjust some of the reeds so that they respond to to low breath pressure now the flip side of that is that you want the reed to not uh, lock up when you blow or draw hard on it so let me just do a couple of examples of doing that technique drawing really hard So the reeds were set right in the sweet spot. Uh, not so low that they lock when you blow high, but not so high up that they refuse to respond when you, when you blow minimally or draw minimally. Uh, finally, the last thing that really impressed me is that I've had zero luck with overblows or overdraws on most short slot harmonicas. Not to say I can't make a screeching horrible sound, but the same technique that works on my long slot uh, honers and zydels doesn't seem to produce a pleasant tone on my Lee Oscars, let's say. Uh, but this is not the case for the Heartmaster. So uh, right out of the box, no adjustment, uh, six overblow. I can bend it a little bit, no squeals, five overblow. Easy to control, four overblow.
a little harder for me to get in the sweet spot, but once I get it there, I can control it. Let's go down to the two overblown. Can't do it. Um, that's partially my technique. Let's try three. Hard to control, but there. Uh, actually hard to get, not too hard to control once it came out. That's a little bit my, my technique because I don't overblow down low on the harp. I've tried overdraws, I'm not good at it, so let's see the seven overdraw. Can't do it. But anyway, the point is that I can get the four, five, and six overblows, which are the ones that most people would want to use in general playing and the only ones that I've really used myself in playing. I get them right out of the box with little or no adjustment to this harmonica. Uh, finally, I just want to note that this uh, harmonica has uh, really nice cover plates, super smooth on the lips. Uh, the numbers are there, you can see them, uh, maybe if I get real close, but they don't protrude like Lee Oscars, uh, so they don't sort of rub raw on your lips. Uh, and the plating on the on the covers is really, really smooth itself. I also really like, you see the ends there, how the corners are rounded a little bit. I really like that I find special 20s, which I generally like to play, uh, ha they have square corners and that can rub right in the corner of your mouth, especially if you're doing a lot of low end kind of chugging or something like that. So I'm finding this to be really nice, smooth, uh, uh, easy to play harmonica. One tiny little gripe is that the cover plates don't fully mesh with the uh, reed plate right along the front. So if you block out the holes with your lip and you blow, you can actually blow air through that gap right there, which uh, may be contributing to a little bit of air loss, although in general this is an extremely airtight, responsive harmonica. So uh, the, probably the only thing that I'm going to do is to uh, mess with the cover plates a little bit to get the seal a little bit better on it so that that air doesn't leak or whatever. But in general, I would say this is a fantastic harmonica. Am I a total Suzuki convert? Well, of course, I'm invested in I have a whole case of Honer harmonicas. Um, but from now on, I will definitely keep the Heartmaster in mind as a harmonica that is well worth going to. Um, I do, like I said, have a Bushman, and uh, it is eerily similar in form to the Heartmaster. So a next video, perhaps, will be comparing the two to see what's different between them. All right, that's about it. Catch you on the flip side.